Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you what I picked up from the Lawn Fawn new release. So this is for summer of 2022 and I got a fair amount of goodies here that I'm super excited to get to play with. So I thought I would share those with you before I repackage those so you can kind of get an idea of what might be upcoming on my channel. So I'm just going to set everything off to the side and we'll get started. So the first thing that I got, which is uh, what you get when you order from Lawn Fawn directly, is always like a little freebie stamp here. This one says made with love and then you get a cute little note from somebody on the Lawn Fawn team who's probably packaging your order is my guess. Um, and then I got the free with 60 stamp set. This is called All the Party Hats and you get this great selection of party hats. I love making birthday cards. It's what I use probably the most. So I'm very excited about this. You also get three great happy birthday sentiments. I wish there were matching dies for this. I'm hoping that I can find matching dies within my stamp sets um, that will go along with it, but it is kind of a pain to have to go through them and try to find dies to match. So I, I do kind of wish that we had a die to go along with this, but I can understand why there isn't, but maybe if they re-release this later on when it's not just a freebie, but for purchase, maybe they'll make a matching die set for it. I think that would be amazing. Uh, so anyway, there was that. And and then I got the uh, Terrific Day stamp set and the Terrific Day add-on. And I did get matching dies for all of the stamps that I got as well. I just, for these two, I have already repackaged them into my envelopes because I've already used these on a card. So um, this is the card that I made here, which is already up on my channel and on the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel as well. So we've got just for elements from both of these sets combined on this card. I think this is a really, really cute one, really clever and different and fun. I just love little critters like this, woodland critters and the whole tea theme and the stump with the banners on it, I think is just super adorable. So very excited to have both of those. I also, of course, had to get the Just Add Glitter. I think any of us crafters kind of squealed when we saw this set. It's just so cute and there's so many different fun crafty elements for these adorable mice to get into. Really fun sentiments here. These are great for sending to other crafty friends or just other friends and family in general. But uh, yeah, I think this one is just super, super adorable. Very excited to play with this one soon. And I did get the matching dies for that one and I have already repackaged them, but I have not got a chance to play with that set yet. Um, the next things I got were the Simply Celebrate Critters, which I just adored this set as soon as I saw it. I think these dogs especially are so darling, but I really love all of the critters. I think they did a nice variety here. And then I did get the uh, Celebrate Critters add-on as well. So you get all these different little sentiments included here for the speech bubbles, but this also gives you uh, an extra variety of sentiments so you can make different kinds of cards. And then I think you could also use some of the sentiments from the Love Poems stamp set. I have to try those and see if they fit in there, but I'm willing to bet at least some of them do. Sorry about that, one of my kids just came home. But anyway, moving on. The last stamp set that I got was the Pool Party. I think this one is gonna be so much fun for summer cards. I love these cute critters that are kind of relaxing at the pool or the beach. And then you've got different kinds of floaties and towels and beach balls and scuba gear, flip flops and some really fun sentiments as well. And there's also some smaller sentiments that you can put inside a speech bubble. So if you make like a really full scene, you can do like a small sentiment on the front and then continue with a larger sentiment on the inside. And I did get the matching dies for that. 
And then I picked up two things that were not from this release, but I didn't have, and they went together so well with that, and that is the Stitch Pond and the Stitch Pond Frame. These are two elements that I had just never picked up, but they just uh, work so well with the stamp set, so I felt like it was definitely time to get them. Um, yeah, because they'll just be perfect together. And then from this release going along with that, I also did get the Stitch Ripple Backdrop. So this will be really fun to use for the pool scenes as well, or just ocean. But I also think this would be great for like a windy day, or even like, you could almost make it like a wood grain background as well, depending on which way you put it. And you know, if you use some brown cardstock, maybe like a craft color and did some ink blending around the edges, I think you could definitely turn that into like a kind of wood grain. Uh, so there's a variety of uses for this one, and I thought that would be nice to have. Then I got the tree house, which I just thought was super, super cute, and will be so much fun to use with the Terrific Day and the Terrific Day add-on, as well as tons of other critters in the Lawn Fawn arsenal of stamps. So I just thought this was super, super fun and had to have that. And then I also got the Stitch Teapot, which I've already taken out of the packaging because I've used it on a card and um, I don't have it anymore because I sent it to my grandma for her birthday, but I can pop a photo on screen in case you haven't seen that and there is a video on my channel already using this and I think that one is really, really cute as well. And then because you guys have reacted so positively to my last two videos that had only dyes, um, I decided to get the Zesty Lemons. I wasn't probably going to get this if it hadn't been for those two videos, and you guys really seem to enjoy them as like something different on my channel. So I decided to go ahead and get this. I thought the card samples from the design team were so fun and I love lemons. It's one of my favorite flavors. Um, it's like my go-to flavor for any kind of like pastry or cake or anything. I'm always going to go for lemon or lemon blueberry, um, but I love lemons, so I thought those would be cool to have. So I'm excited to play with these and see what I can come up with. And then, let's see, I also got the new paper pad, all the dots. So this one has a variety of different size dots and then coordinating stripes. So that'll be a lot of fun to play with. I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited to. So there's six different colors there and then it just repeats. So very fun. Always glad to have new pattern papers. I did pick up one stencil. I got the Sunray background stencil. Um, I just thought I would be able to use this one for more projects. Um, I also was really in love with the different art supply sets that came out. There was a, a die set that I had in my cart, and there was a stencil that I had in my cart, but um, it, I was over budget, so I had to remove a few things from my shopping cart for this time and uh, I decided to keep this one for now because it just went with more things. So I grabbed that Sunray background stencil. And then along with that, this isn't new, but I did grab some of the white stencil paste. Um, like in my art journaling recently, I was using some light modeling paste from Liquitex that was like 10 years old and uh, it was really dried out and hard to use, and I don't use it that often, so I don't really need a big jar. So since I was ordering from Lawn Fawn anyway, I decided to go ahead and just try this stencil paste. I've used their Fairy Dust paste in the past and really enjoyed that, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this as well. So I grabbed that, and then last of all, I just grabbed another pack of the mini ink blending tools that I use with my Distress Oxide inks. I have to switch these out too often for the amount of tools I had, so I just de decided to grab another pack um, while I was placing an order to give me two more, so I don't have to switch out quite as often. 
So that was everything from my new release haul for this time around. I don't know, I still might get some of the art supply stuff at a later date, but for now this is plenty to play with. So very excited to um, get into more of this stuff and see what kind of cards I can come up with. So let me know which thing here was your favorite and maybe I can move it up the list, start to come up with some ideas for it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.